Hey everyone, in this lesson we will discuss the BV string maximum voltage. So you have to know that when we are installing our uh, BV panel, you have to make sure that uh, the voltage does not exceed a certain value. So what is this value? This value is dependent on the uh, country code or the manufacturer itself. Okay, so as we will see here now, if we look at this module type which we have uh, discussed before this one you will see that here we have a very important um, parameter which is the maximum system voltage if you remember we said before 600 volt dc so what does this mean it means that when we are connecting these modules together you can see in order to form a string like this Remember that when we are connecting uh, them in series, we are increasing the voltage, okay? Since the panels are connected in series. So we have to make sure that the total voltage of all of these panels, V1, V2, and until Vn, so the summation of all of these voltages from uh, V1 up to Vn, Summation of all of these volts is less than or equal to 600 volt. So we have to make sure that the system voltage of, of a string does not exceed 600 volt. Okay. So here you have to know that in the United States, for example, for the residential and commercial BV systems, it is rated up to 600 volt. So it is important to make sure that a BV array is configured so that this 600 volt rating is not exceeded or according to the manufacturer here, okay? So according to the load or according to the module itself. Now you have to know that what causes the voltage to increase. So if you remember that we said before that the temperature itself, when the temperature increases, what will happen to the system? the power will start decreasing and the voltage will also decrease, right? However, something which will happen in the reverse case. If we have the temperature, which is at 25 Celsius degrees, a standard test condition temperature, STC condition temperature, which is equivalent to V open circuit, where is the V open circuit? This V open circuit of 37.5 volt. Okay, now if the temperature decreases below the 25 Celsius degree, what will happen to the voltage? Voltage will start increasing. So we have to make sure that at the lowest expected ambient temperature in the site or in the location, at the lowest temperature, for example, let's say the lowest temperature is one Celsius degree. Okay, so we have to make sure that at one Celsius degree, the voltage of this string does not exceed 600 volt okay because as we know that when the temperature decreases the volt will increase so we have to make sure that the voltage here does not exceed 600 volt okay so the bv module manufacturer provides a temperature coefficient which we have discussed before as temperature coefficient of the open circuit denoted by this TK V open circuit. TK is the temperature uh, coefficient V open circuit. It must be used in the calculation of this uh, voltage. So as an example, you can see here the temperature coefficient here, this one temperature coefficient of V open circuit. This coefficient is the one which I'm talking about TK V open circuit. Okay. This temperature coefficient, which is equal to negative 0.3% for each Celsius degree. So what does this mean? It means that for each temperature, for each uh, one Celsius degree increase beyond the 25 Celsius degree, each one Celsius degree, our voltage will decrease by negative 0.3%. Okay, but what if our temperature decreases? So for each temperature equal one Celsius degree, each decrease in temperature, delta T, each decrease in temperature will lead to an increase in voltage by plus 0.3%. Okay, for each Celsius degree. 
so this value negative 0.3 for each increase in temperature for each increase voltage decreases by negative 0.3 percent for each decrease in temperature it will be plus 0.3 percent okay increase in the voltage so we'll find that the coefficient tells us how much the modules voltage will increase per Celsius degree below the standard test condition of 25 Celsius degree. So you have to know that sometimes the manufacturer itself provides the temperature coefficient in the form of uh, how many volt per Celsius degree or how many millivolt for Celsius degree or as a percentage per Celsius degree as you can see here. Okay. So what are we going to do? How can we know this? First, you if you have, for example, if we have this string and the module, each module string, each module, each one panel has a temperature coefficient of negative 0.12 volt per Celsius degree. What does this mean? It means that for each, for each decrease in temperature by one Celsius degree, our voltage will increase by plus 0.12. Okay, because here negative, what does mean? Negative means decrease. Per what? Per increase. So decrease in voltage per increase or decrease in temperature leads to increase in voltage. Okay, they are opposite to each other. Okay. So what does this mean? It means for each one Celsius degree below 25 Celsius degree, the module voltage will increase by 0.12 volt. So, for example, if you have a module with given in percentage per Celsius degree, we will multiply this coefficient percentage, how many percentage, by the open circuit voltage to get how much we will increase. So, as an example, if we have a module with an open circuit voltage of 36.9 volt, and the temperature coefficient is negative 0.36 percent per Celsius degree. So it means that the for each one Celsius degree, for each decrease in Celsius degree, for each one for each degree below 25 Celsius degree, we will have a voltage of what of 36.9 multiplied by uh, 0.36. 0.36 percent now we have to know that 0.36 percent is equal to 0.36 and divided by 100 okay because we have a percentage okay so this divided by 100 we will move this one two uh, uh, sorry not the side we will one two so we'll have point zero so we'll have point uh, zero point zero zero three six 0.00036 okay so this means that we will have the our voltage will be like this v open circuit in general is equal to um the 36.9 which is the current voltage at 25 Celsius degree plus 0.133 volt multiplied by delta t Okay, and delta T here representing what? Representing 25 Celsius degree minus the new temperature. So if we our new temperature is 24 degrees, the difference will be 1. So our voltage will be 36.9 plus 0.133. Positive voltage increase when temperature decrease. However, if we have at 25 Celsius degree, if this one is 25 Celsius degree, then the difference is zero, so this part will be equal to zero. So our voltage will be 36.9. Okay. So once we do this calculation, we must determine the lowest expected ambient temperature. Okay. You can um, do the calculation and according to number of modules installed in series, you will get the maximum uh, voltage and the corresponding temperature. Or to be more specific or the correct way is that we already know 
the lowest temperature in a location. We already know the lowest temperature in a location. So from this data, we will already know, we will be able to know how many modules, maximum number of modules that will be installed in series. Okay, as you will see in the next uh, slide. So here is an example to understand this idea. Let's say we have a string which uses like this one, a string which uses a modules with V open circuit equal to 36.9 volt. Okay, 36.9 volt. And the temperature coefficient is negative 0.36% per Celsius degree. And we are located in a location with an extreme minimum temperature of negative 23 Celsius degree. So this is the lowest temperature in the location. Okay. So first, according to the lowest temperature, let's see what will happen to the open circuit voltage of one module. So simply like this, you will find that the drop in temperature with respect to the STC uh, conditions, you will find that here we have 25 Celsius degree, which is the temperature at STC, which is equivalent to voltage open circuit of 36.9 minus the new temperature which is negative 23 Celsius degree so we'll find that the difference in temperature or the drop in the temperature is 48 Celsius degrees or Celsius degrees okay so 48 Celsius degrees uh, what does this mean or what is the value of the voltage corresponding to uh, this Celsius degree you will find that here like this each temperature drop, each one Celsius degree drop is an equ equivalent to and increases the voltage by this value. You can see we have 0.36%, 36%, which is 0.36 divided by 100, multiplied by the open circuit voltage, which is 0.133 volt. So for each one Celsius degree, decrease in uh, by one Celsius degree, we will have an, an increase in the voltage by 0.133. And as you can see, we are dropping by how much? We are dropping by 48 Celsius degrees. So you will see like this, the total PV voltage or the total increase in the PV voltage is will be equal to 48 Celsius degrees by 0.133 volt. So it will give us 6.38 volt. So our panel, due to the drop, uh, due to the drop in uh, temperature from 25 Celsius degree to a negative 23 uh, Celsius degree, we will add this voltage to the 36.9. Okay. So in this case, the maximum voltage for each one module, maximum open circuit voltage of one module is 43.28 volt. Okay. So each one of these maximum open circuit at the worst conditions, we will have 43.28 volt. Okay. So what we are going to do now, we have to make sure that uh, when we are connecting several modules in series, we should not, it should be less than or equal 600 volt. Okay. So this is the question here. What is the number of modules in series that will achieve this condition? So for example, if you are connecting uh, 12 modules in series, 12 modules, so we will have the total voltage, total maximum, total open circuit voltage of the system will be the 12 volt, or not the 12 volt, the number of modules, which is 12, 12 modules, multiplied by the open circuit voltage at the negative 23 Celsius degree, which is 43.28 volt. So if we multiply these two values together, we will get 519.4 volt. Okay. Now, as you can see that this value, if we have 12 modules in series at the worst condition or at extreme minimum temperature, we will have an open circuit voltage of 519, which is less than 600. So it is acceptable case. We can connect 12 modules in series. Okay, it is acceptable. Why? Because it produces less than 600 volt at the extreme conditions. 
However, if we assume 14 modules, what will happen? 14 modules, it means that the system voltage will be 14, which is the number of modules, multiplied by 43.28, you can find that it gives us 605.9 volt, which is what, which is, um, which is greater than the maximum system voltage of 600 volt. So it is higher than the uh, maximum system voltage. So in this case, this one will be rejected because the 600 volt limit is exceeded. So we cannot connect 14 modules in series. Our maximum number of modules in series will be 12. Okay. Okay. So the question is, um, how can we know the extreme minimum temperature of a location? There are several ways to do this. You can search for it to find the minimum temperature uh, in a location. But for me, we can use this website. Uh, this website is called uh, solarabcs.org. If you go to this website, you will find a solar reference map. What does this do? You can find here uh, locations in the US. When you select any location in the US, for example here, you will find that this website or this map will give you the extreme or the minimum temperature in a location, zero Celsius degrees. Okay. So I can use this one as the minimum temperature. So delta T, which is the difference between the STC temperature and minimum temperature will be equal to 25 Celsius degree minus zero Celsius degree, which will give us difference of 25 Celsius degrees. Okay, so I'm going to multiply my own voltage 25, 25 multiplied by the percentage or the increase in voltage okay you can find also using the global uh, solar atlas and other uh, methods you can get this extreme minimum temperature okay so in this lesson we discussed the maximum voltage of bv system and we understand now why it is important to do this because we need it in our design Okay, so when we are designing our BV panel, we have to make sure that the modules which you are connecting in series should not exceed the maximum voltage at extreme minimum conditions. Okay.